highest power of 2 in 10 factorial plus 11 factorial plus 12 factorial and so on up to 1000 factorial. What is the highest power of 2? Most of the students will do a mistake. I don't know who taught them this kind of weird logics. They will take for 10 factorial. 2 5s are, 2 2s are, 2 1s are. 5 plus 2 plus 1. They will tick mark the answer as 8. Without even thinking mathematically, why you are taking 10 factorial? Directly you will write it. This is a blunder mistake. This is a blunder mistake. This is a mistake. Most of the students will do it. I don't know what kind of teaching they have gone through it. Now see here. Solution. N, let me call it as N. N is given as 10 factorial plus 11 factorial plus 12 factorial and so on up to 1000 factorial. 10 factorial plus 11 factorial and so on up to 1000 factorial. 10 factorial. 11 N factorial can be written as N into N minus 1 factorial. 12 factorial can be written as 12 into 11 into 10 factorial. 13 factorial can be written as 13 into 12 into 11 into 10 factorial. 14 factorial can be written as 14 into 13 into 11 into 10 factorial and so on. Is this clear? Why are we expanding it? You will come to know. Let me take 10 factorial common. Let me take 10 factorial common. 1 plus 11 plus 12 into 11. 13 into 12 into 11. 14 into 13 into 12 into 11 and so on. Are you all with me? So again 1 plus 11 it is 12, here 12, here 12, here 12. So 12 if I take common, 10 factorial into 12 into 1 plus 11 plus 13 into 11. Remaining it is 14 into 13 into 11 and so on. Are you all with me? Over answer. Now see here, logically, 14 into 13 into 11, it is even, 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 even. Even, 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 any number of times even number, answer will be even. 1 plus 11, it is 12, even. 13 into 11, it is odd. Even, 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 it is even. Plus even, it is even. Plus odd, it is odd. That means I will get finally 10 factorial into 12 into odd. 10 factorial into 12 into odd. 10 factorial power of 2 is 8 into some other prime basis. 2 square into 3 into odd. 8 plus 2. Answer for this question is 10. Answer for this question is 10. Very, very good question. Which will make you understand. In your textbooks, you have done factorial highest powers. Or probably you have done Two factorials are the subtraction of two factorials. Subtraction of two factorials. You have done that one. But so many factorials are added. He is asking you the highest power of two. 11 factorial. What are the concepts that we did here? N factorial it is. N into N minus 1 factorial. R it is. N into N minus 1 into N minus 2 factorial. N minus 2 factorial. 11 factorial is 11 into 10 factorial. 12 factorial is 12 into 11 into 10 factorial. 13 factorial, 14 factorial. 10 factorial if I take common. 1 plus 11 plus 12 into 11 plus 13. Here I took 12 common. Here 12 is there. Here 12 is there. Here all 12 are there. From 14 into 13 into 12 into 11. I got even. Even, 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 even. Answer will be, sum will be even. 1 plus 11, it is 12. 12, it is an even number. Even plus even, even. Even plus odd, it is an odd number. I hope the question, concept, it is clear. That number of zeros at the end, it is highest power of 5. Number of zeros at the end. 
Number of zeros, it is an half knowledge statement, sir. Number of zeros at the end, it is highest power of 5. Almost all the teachers will say, but my statement is, it is only applicable for factorials. It is very, very important key point. Please make a note, sir. Only applicable for factorials. Only applicable for factorials. Not always. Most of the students will think that just if I find the highest power of 5, I will get the number of zeros at the end. It is not true. Put it as extremely important key point. Very, very important key point, sir. Very, very important key point. Extremely important key point. Number of zeros at the end. It is the highest power of 5. It is not applicable for all the numbers. For certain numbers, power of 2 also can give. Let me create a question. M is 2 into 4 into 6 and so on up to 24. M is the product of all even numbers. N is the Please write down, sir. N is the product of all odd numbers. Product of very, very good question, sir. Product of all odd numbers. All odd numbers. Till 199. M into N gives dash number of zeros. M into N gives dash number of zeros at the end. Write down the question, sir. Extremely important question. Extremely important question. M is 2 into 4 into 6 into 8 and so on up to 24. N is the product of all odd numbers till 199. M into N gives dash number of zeros at the end. You can also teach the teachers this point. Number of zeros at the end is not always highest power of 5. It is only applicable for factorials. Listen carefully. Solution. Listen carefully to this question. M is 2 into 4 into 6 into 8 and so on up to 24. So this is 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 12s are 24. 2 is multiplied 12 times, 2 is multiplied 12 times, 2 power 12. 1 into 2 into 3 till 12, so it is 12 factorial. M is 2 power 12 into 12 factorial. Till here it is clear, in the next slide, complete slide we will use it. Now, product of all odd numbers till 199. So, n will be 27 from 27. From 27 till 199. Please write down, sir. Product of all odd numbers from 27 till 199. So, this will be 27, 29, 31, 33 till 199. Till 199. Number of zeros at the end. It is the power of 10. 10 is a composite number. It is 2 into 5. So I need the multiples of 2 and 5. Odd numbers. In odd numbers, odd number is a number which is never divisible by 2. So that means 2 will not come. So only, shall I write it down in the next slide? So M will be m will be 2 power 12 into 12 factorial n is 27 29 31 33 and so on up to 199 what do i require m into n gives m into n gives dash number of ending zeros zeros at the end are also called as trailing zeros M into N gives dash number of ending zeros. Listen carefully, sir. These are all odd numbers. Odd numbers will not have any powers of 2. 
only concentrate on the odd multiples of 5. 27, 29, 31, 33, 35. 37, 39, 41, 43, 45. So there is a difference of 10. 55. Next is 65. Next is 75. Next is 85. Next is 95. 105. 115. 125. 135. 145. 155. 165. 175. 185 and 195 195 now listen carefully sir right very very good question which it will teach you number of zeros at the end is not always highest power of 5 m is 2 power 12 into 12 factorial now listen carefully m this is 12 can be written what is the highest power of 2 2 6 are 2 3 are 2 1 are so it is 2 power 12 into 2 power 10 into 12. What is the highest power of 5? 5 square into k. Is it clear? So m is 2 power 22 into 5 square into k. n is how many 5s are there? Let us see. 5 7s are 35. 5 1 multiple of 5. 5 9s are 5 11s are 5 13s are 25 3s are plus 2. 5 17s are 519s are 521s are 523s are 5 cube is 125 527s are 529s are 531s are 533s are 25 7 are 537 are 529 are what is this plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 5 7s are 5 1 power of 5 is there 5 9s are 5 11s are 5 13s are totally how many I got 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 13 14 15 16 17 19 20 21 21 5 power 21 into some other prime basis so m into n will give you what is the value of m 2 power 22 into 5 square into k n will be 5 power 21 into k2 so this will be 2 power 22 into 5 power 23 k into k2 k3 so this will be 2 into 5 power 22 into 5 power 1 into k3 10 power 22 how many zeros it got 10 power 1 will have 1 0 10 power 2 will have 2 zeros 10 power 3 will have 3 zeros 10 power 22 will have 22 zeros from where you got 20 22 you got 22 from the lowest power of 2 number of zeros at the end is not always the highest power of 5 very very good question extremely important question only for factorial based problems number of zeros at the end it is the highest power of Number of zeros at the end, it is the highest power of 5. If the question nature changes, then it could be the highest power of 2. One, some mistakes which you might do. 12, 12 you have to condense it as a highest power of 2. 2 6 are, 2 3 is 2 1 are, 2 power 10. 5 it is 5 square. Why I wrote 75 as plus 2 above? 25 into 3. So there are 2 powers of 5. 125 why I wrote plus 3 it is 125 is 5 cube 175 is 25 into 7 it is plus 2 I hope it is clear so 5 into 7 5 into 9 all will get added very very good question sir probably the best question of the day which will give you an idea that number of zeros at the end is not always the highest power of 5. 